Hey everyone, this will be a short video because later this week we will have an inspector from the Ministry of Agriculture come in to check on uh, the small hive beetle uh, that are present in my hives. And if I can, I'll include footage from that inspection should the inspector be willing to be filmed. So what we will do is monitor for them, check all the traps, and uh, I'll be talking about them, why they're so bad. So, let's get on with it. Many of you might be aware that they exist, but... Like, just what the heck is a small high beetle? Well, they're a small uh, parasite. And what they do is, they get they, when they smell a hive, they get inside it, and they lay eggs in the comb. They will start eating uh, the honey and I think they eat the wax too, I'm not sure. And they'll lay uh, eggs inside. And when those eggs hatch, they make small larvae. They start eating the, co the, the comb and honey. And it's, it make, uh, they defecate in the comb, which causes it to ferment. And if it's not controlled, they'll completely slime. Um, the hive and if it gets too bad they will abscond they'll leave the hive altogether and you will uh, well that's not a good thing so since somebody at the store that sold me those nukes made a blunder and introduced the beetle here in Quebec which is normally not a problem there's no queen on this. Well, the Minister of Agriculture asked me to monitor for them. Now, I've taken notes every time I've opened the hives, see if there's any beetles in any of the traps. Kept a record of it. See, I see one in there. So there's one in the marbled hive. Get the record of it, and uh, I'll make a report once the lady uh, of the minister of, from the Minister of Agriculture shows up uh, later this week. Let's check this one. Nothing there. That's good. And this one. I see. You. One in the, is that one? Yep. Yeah. There's one in that as well. Another thing I can check on are the bottom boards. Uh, they, they, um, the bees make a lot of, uh, of wax waste when they open and close uh, the cells. Say uh, a, a worker is born, she will chew her way out of the cell and it will fall through the screen onto the bottom board which I will show you. I've spoken of these before. Alright, let's have a look. Now there doesn't appear to be any small hive beetles in there and it's always best to dispose of this if there's eggs or larvae in the sun where there's hard packed dirt. Uh, the small hive beetles do not fare well where there's sunlight. So I'll go scrape this off and uh, I'll be right back. Let's have a look inside this hive. Now you may notice on the ground I put some rubber mats these are a layer of the fence. If there's a small hive beetle that's born and it comes out, they normally burrow in the ground so they can pupate, hatch, and come back inside the hive. So putting a rubber mat on the ground is a layer of the fence. Another layer of the fence is these. I've spoken about these before. They are called guardian entrances. Firstly, the red is a mild deterrent. Small hive beetles do not like the red color. And second, 
the way the, the, the trapeze structures prevent the beetles from entering the hive and it's extremely effective. Something I realized too is those are vent holes so the excess heat can come out and I realized this the holes in the metal mesh might be big enough to allow the small hive beetles through so I got some excess traps I'll put them over the ventilation holes and then I'll put the wire mesh over it and add it the layer of the fence so that the beetles have even less of a chance of getting inside the hives. I was speaking of layers of defense earlier. Two more that were provided to me by the store since they made the mistake of importing contaminated nukes are these. These are basically, basically Swiffers and the small hive beetles get stuck in the fibers and it stops them from um, spreading into the hive and there's none in that one it is. and another type of trap because you can't have too many small hive beetle traps are these they're basically small troughs you put oil in them the holes in the cover are too small for the bees so what happens is the bees chase the beetles into the trap they fall in the oil and they drown and there's only an ant in there there's more ways to defend against small hive beetles but these are among the most uh, common traps, especially uh, the troughs and the uh, Swiffer. Well, that was a short one, but at least I hope it proved informative to you guys and gals. Regarding the missing queens I noticed last week, I uh, messaged several experienced beekeepers and they told me it is most likely the workers that decided that there was something wrong with those queens and decided to get rid of them. There's two options, they either make new queens and everything's fine or I could fuse a queenless hive with a queen right one. That way it bolsters the, the population of uh, a weaker hive and it, it increases the likelihood that they'll survive the winter without losing a whole colony. So. If by next Saturday there's no eggs, I'll probably fuse the hives together. If there's eggs, well, everything's fine and I'll just leave them uh, as is. So thank you all for watching. I'll see you all next time. That's exciting.